What's that? What a pickling pan. <laughs> it's my pickling pan. I don't make pickles, but I just pickle the water maker. <laughs> Have fun. My purple pan is what I use to pickle the water maker. This pan is shallow and fits well in the bilge to add sodium metabisulfite to pickle the water maker. This 450 has pulpit seats, and the factory seats are so small one can barely sit down. I made replacements of the same design that are larger so it's easier to sit down. You can see that there's something on the seat. These are solar deck lights. Either red or blue can be selected. I select blue which makes it easier for us to find our boat at night and illuminate Cabo so others can see us. The 450S has the bulkhead helm position which I believe to be an ideal location, close to the cockpit and within earshot of the crew. Great visibility forward and all around. The enclosure provides good protection from the weather and the chill of the wind on a night watch. All lines are run to the helm, so unless something breaks, there is no need to leave the helm station to operate the boat under sail. The Coach Roof Bunny Pad is a great place for relaxing, catching an amazing sunset, or stargazing after the sun sets. The Traveler is important to assist in trimming the sails to mitigate weather helm, and as it's on top of the coach roof, it's out of the way. Another feature of the 450S is that the boom is mounted lower on the mast, making putting away the sail much easier as it is accessible from the coach roof. Forward there's another lounging area, which is amazing, and the dark colored trampolines allow the water below to be seen, which is really nice. The hatches for both port and starboard bow lockers provide access to these storage areas. This is a great space for fenders, lines, extra sails, spare parts, and miscellaneous other gear. This boat is equipped with a captain's quarters on the port side that has a small window to vent the space, but frankly, it's very small and I can't imagine how one might even change clothes in that space. The helm seat is large enough for two people. solar panels which help keep the batteries charged. Under the engine hatch provide access to the engines. There is a sound enclosure which provides lots of room to store things. I would advise against using this area for too much stuff as it is important to be able to access the engines, especially on a passage. Checking the engine and sail drive oil, inspecting the autopilot and steering assembly, access to certain circuit breakers, and being able to check for water and oil leaks is very important. The shore power connections are on the starboard side. Here we see the starboard side diesel fuel fill, the dinghy davits, and solar panels which work great. We reinforce these davits with a stainless steel flat bar stitch welded to the tubes as the tube wall thickness is quite thin. Of course, the propane fuel barbecue is mounted on the railing and has easy access. The power dinghy winch and the port tank diesel fill. Below the deck you can see the edge of the life raft casing. Here is a close-up of the flat bar reinforcement on the dinghy davits. Lighting the burner on a breezy day is a bit of a challenge. Sometimes I have to stand in front of the barbecue and use my body to block the wind to get the burner lit. But once it's lit, it stays lit. White material are sunshades and are a must-have. These shades keep the afternoon sun out of the cockpit and house, keeping the boat much cooler. We have learned to put them down before we leave the boat in the morning for adventures so that when we return in the afternoon, the boat is not overheated. This area is the trash bin and it is great that it is outside. Access to empty the trash is super easy. However, we have found that we like a small trash can just inside the door of the salon. This space is being utilized for the storage of shopping bags, clothes pins, and other miscellaneous items that are frequently used. The lazard in the cockpit is set up differently for personal versus charter use. And this is another amazing space for whatever you may need to store and have easy access. The two white covers are the manual whale or bilge pumps. The handles are installed on the left side on the inside of the lid of the lazaret. Propane for the stove and the oven are under the seat. The generator is on the starboard side, forward of the house. It is an 11 kilowatt Onan generator with a sound enclosure, so it's pretty quiet. There's an option to pull from either the port or starboard tank. 
for those unfamiliar with diesel engines, there is a supply line to the engine and excess volume is routed back to the tank. So there are two lines to each diesel engine, the supply and return line. In other words, take from one tank or the other. Do not attempt to draw from both tanks at the same time. It is possible that the supply line will draw from one tank and return to the other, potentially overfilling it. Ask me how I know. On the port side is the deck wash down selection valve. Either salt or fresh water can be selected. I leave it selected on salt water so we don't accidentally empty the fresh water tanks. We also have two spare anchors, some chain and line. In the center area forward is access to the windlass control. We have extra lines and our bags are in this area. The cockpit area with the sun shade stowed. This is a nice large area that provides seating at the table for six. With the ice chest or using two of the interior stools, we can easily sit eight. Both inside and outside tables have marine vinyl table coverings. This protects the top surface, but more importantly, whatever is placed on the table stays put, even underway, even a glass of water. We are prepping the boat and removing our personal effects to get the boat ready for charter. We have removed the enclosure as it will go into storage. We have a few things out and about. We are in the starboard hull heading forward to the stateroom. This is a four stateroom yacht with four heads and four separate showers. Each room, including the salon, have independent air conditioning units so everyone can personalize their own room temperature. There is a hanging storage closet, small storage closet below, and a drawer underneath the bed. The shelf on the left provides access to the generator. The heads on the 450s are quite nice. Separate shower with an adjustable shower hose which can reach the toilet for fresh water flushes to keep the head smelling fresh. The batch above the shower is great for venting the humidity and bringing fresh air to vent the space. The entire size of the mirror has a large cabinet behind it. The boat is equipped with electric heads which are easy to use. I recommend that the bowl is filled and drained at least three times to get all the product moved through the hose into the holding tank. Product sitting in the lines with the seawater quickly leads to head smell, not something one wants to experience. Thanks for watching the mini tour of the Lagoon 450S. You'll be hard pressed to find a nicer boat with as much utility and sailing performance.